Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some snacks from Bucky's. So we recently got a Bucky's. They opened up in Richmond, Kentucky, and we found these three snacks we wanted to try. They were really, really cheap. They were only a dollar twenty-nine a piece, which mm -hmm. I think is pretty yeah, cheap. Pretty cheap. Uh, so these are called Buckos, and they are sweet onion flavor and sweet heat barbecue flavor. And I have the Buccaronis. Uh, they are chili and lime, but they're puffed wheat snacks. They're not like a. Uh, Poor fries. Yeah. Which um, makes, when you read that, you're thinking of chicken around eight. They're yeah. Not, they're, they're wheat. Hey, Bucko, looking for a snack ring that's bursting with flavor? Well, you've come to the right place. Packed with savory goodness and a colossal crunch, these little morsels will keep your mouth watering till the very last bite. Don't say we didn't warn you. One bag, two ounces, 57 grams is 250 calories. That whole bag. Pretty the good. whole bag. Wow. Okay. And they're in Lake Jackson, Texas, is where they make these. I guess these rings are mostly air. <laughs> <laughs> they're light. Um, those uh, look. They remind me of the um, Hawaiian brand oh, sweet yeah. Maui. Um, yeah, they look just like that. Onions. Yeah, and those tasted just like. Onion ring, so I'm wondering if these did. I like the texture. The texture is good and soft. There's not a lot of flavor there, though. The Hawaiian brand is better. Mm -hmm. Right off the rip, I can tell you that. Yeah, the flavor is so, so light. And I made sure I got one that was pretty covered with spice. Mm -hmm. Or the powder, the seasoning, whatever. Yeah. What the flavor that's supposed to be? Onion. Sweet yeah. onion. That's why I'm comparing them. These. These would be directly compared to the Hawaiian brand. Or Funyun if you really wanted to, to compare. Yes, but... Uh, Funyuns have a different texture. But. Yes, these have the same texture and everything as that Hawaiian yeah. brand. The, I'm telling you, you, I would get those because yeah. they're better. The other are going to cost you more, but it's worth the cost because... Um, these, these are, they're not bad. It's not like it's terrible or tastes bad or something. It's just really, really, really light. Yeah. yeah I mean, you didn't, you almost can't tell they're onion. Yeah. That's why I look at the bags and why, are they sour cream and onion or are they supposed to be? Yeah. They it's don't just really sweet. Taste it, like it, yeah. It, it, it's just, yeah, light. So now these are supposed to be the sweet heat barbecue. Yeah. This Two, should hopefully have a stronger flavor. Uh, yeah, 250 for the whole bag, which I think is good. I do like the calories, but now I understand yeah. how they save my calories without putting any flavor. There's no flavor in them. I know, there's one that's like really dark, but I'm not going to get that and cheat because they're, all the other ones are like this. I get a little smokiness, and then you get your, ting, your tongue starts wow. tingling. That is really very, very, very hot. Wow. No, no, and it doesn't really say it's that hot. That you think of. sweet heat. Uh, it does say heat, but I, I'll be honest with you. When I think of sweet heat, I don't think of that level mm -mm. of heat. That's, uh, that's, for me, that's very, very, very hot. If you've ever had Grippos, Grippos are kind of hot. When you first, when you first start eating them, these are hotter. This is hotter. Yeah. I would not buy those again either, either because uh, that is not the barbecue I want. Yeah. Um, and the barbecue flavor themselves, like I said, it's more than just a smokiness. You get the smokiness and then you just get heat hit you like right on your tongue. Yeah. And there's not much else going flavor wise. No, if you want something really, if you're a flaming hot person, if you like that flaming hot flavor, these would be for you because that's all you really get for us that's all we get in the flaming hot is just the heat that's what this is you're buying these for that heat no. um i feel bad though for people who are getting those thinking they're going to get a nice barbecue yeah because it's not a sweet barbecue flavor mm -mm. with some heat it's not like that okay so buccarones puffed wheat snacks chili and lime flavored at Bucky's, we're flavor fanatics. We like things bold and exciting, delicious from start to finish. Oh, you too? Crack open a bag of Buccarones for a puffed wheat snack that's exploding with chili and lime flavor. I'm expecting this one to be hot too. 250 calories for the whole bag. They know you're gonna, most people are gonna eat them on, in the car. Yeah. So they're just letting you know for the whole darn bag, you know? They don't do that on like 
big bags of lice. They, no. you know, <laughs> These do kind of look like a chicharrone. Yeah. yeah, a chicharrone. Okay, here we go. That was some more texture. Mm. The lime is really strong. It is. I like the um, I like the chili flavor. I do too, but I don't like all the lime. The lime, you're gonna you. The lime tastes like cereal. I can see that. It literally well, mixed with the wheat snack flavor. Yes, too. because it's a wheat snack. I feel like even though there's chili in there, the chili is down here where the lime is like the, the bowl lime's flavor. Strong. You really feel like you just ate a bowl of cereal uh, because so of that. That's that lime. chili powder sprinkled on. Really, that's 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 mm -hmm. the flavor I'm getting. Yeah, because I do get chili flavor. I do get that chili powder flavor, mm -hmm. but you're you're right. The lime is like way up there. I wish, I, I do like the texture because it's light. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they would make like a chili cheese version. Yeah, or just a regular salted version. It, they may have a salted Without version. that lime. Yeah, I would rather really have just salt than, than chili mm -hmm. lime. It's odd how, it, it's, yeah, cereal and chili. <laughs> I do like the texture though. The texture does remind you a lot of the the pork skins, except they're not as hard. They're not as like sharp on your t on your roof, of your mouth. Pork rinds are really, really crunchy, and these aren't that hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but but similar. They're kind of got that bubbly kind of right collapsing kind of texture. Exactly. Well, if if the, if I had to buy one of the three, had to, had no choice. Um, yeah, I'd probably get the, the onion, but even though it really doesn't have a you're gonna the reason you're gonna keep eating that bag of onion is because you're gonna be searching constantly for the flavor. You're gonna be like, okay, I didn't get enough on that in that bite. Maybe if I shove five or six in my mouth at one time, I'll get more flavor. And then the bag's gonna be gone. But that's the only reason, is because you're gonna you're 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 gonna try to satisfy that need for more onion. It's not going to come. No. So I would, truly, I wouldn't buy any of these. No, I mean, if, unless you like a smoky heat, then these are good. Oh, if it's you like hot. a smoky heat. It's, it's, but, um, it's hot. Yeah, and if yeah. you like that lime, chili powder lime flavored thing, get those. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It's just not flavor surprise. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.